Uh, welcome to the FinCast Slower Turds tutorial video. Okay, this video will uh, represent both FinCast Studio and FinCast Solo for making and using Lower Turds. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, to go to the Lower Turds tab. And in this tab, it's completely blank for the first time. And we have the option of moving to the box on the right hand side, right clicking with a mouse and getting a small menu. In this menu, the three options are create a new turd, edit a selected turd if one exists, or delete a selected turd again if one exists. No turds exist. Um, any turds that you do create um, will go into a local database, and each time you open FinCast, your lower turds will exist. So uh, I'll go straight to creating a lower turd, and it opens up a editing. Uh, window up here we add a name for a lower third maybe call this just one and we need to select an image now regarding the image it's like a background image that you're going to put text onto from fincast you're going to put additional images onto and your lower third uh, image should be created in full high definition with a transparent background and this can be easily done in Photoshop and other editing photo softwares. So for example, uh, the size would be 1920 by 1080 for full HD. So I'm going to click main image and I'm going to go to my desktop. I have a little folder here and look for lower thirds. Here we go. Okay, I'll select all image formats. And I'm going to take this one as my background image. So it's completely transparent. And all I did here was I put in a couple of shapes you, which you can create really easy in Photoshop, for example. Um, and you can twist and tilt them. You get the idea if you've worked with Photoshop. You can just put in a simple rect rectangle, one rectangle, and move it down to where you want it to be on the screen. So what we're seeing here is a full HD image. Um, we have it near the end of the screen. That's why it's called a lower third. And it's the third uh, part of the screen. If you can imagine the screen broken into three parts, like one, the center, two, and then the lower section. That's why they call it lower thirds. Okay, we can add a bit of text. Now that we've got a background image to work off and I will select bold I will choose the color white and I don't know maybe write something like news okay so that gives me a default um, location and it gives me default width and height which is changeable so I can move this down for example to here if I want to change uh, the width I can you know it's simply grab it to the right and drag out the width and as equally the same uh, can be done with the height okay and if i right click this text and it would be the same principle applying to an image when i add one it actually gives me an additional menu and that allows me to delete this text item it allows me to edit it if i want to change uh, the text itself that could be by color it could be by font um, I might want to add additional text news time as an example and again you can see that kind of resides itself nicely but um, you can again select your preferred size uh, the move on it is basically um, whatever these default settings are uh, width and height and the X position and the Y position. X position will always be from the left inwards and Y from the top down. So it's like 50 in top down with 300 and high 300. So you can, you know, you end up with something like that, which I don't want. But that's really what the move position is. So whatever the values are in here, it will go to that location. And you can see as I move it around up here on the right hand side, uh, the coordinates are shown for the X position and the Y position exactly where it is. Okay. 
I might add in another text uh, block here and maybe choose, I don't know, this bluish color here. And I'll just write thin cast. Okay. And again, I can drag this down and resize it to my own preference, something like that. You can also add an image. I think an image is usually of a presenter. Um, or it could be of a topic that you're speaking about. I'll just add in Rhonda here as a transparent image. And do something like that. Okay. That looks good. And I can close this down now. Okay, so I have an image created. How do I use my image? Or oh, sorry, my lower third. Well, you click on this. There could be several here. Uh, as many as you want, there's no restriction. Uh, we just woke up one that moved on me when I closed this. That can happen sometimes. You gotta be careful when you're closing um, what's highlighted and not highlighted. And it's probably kind of good that it did happen. I usually just click on the blank space here, click on nothing, so nothing's highlighted to move by accident. And now it should be fine when we close it down. You can see it jumped back into place where it should be. That was a good tip. Now, over here we have the control for lower thirds. As equally like the video switcher, uh, we've got 32 transitions, lots of transitions. Um, I know, let's start with something exciting like fly, fly in, fly out. This is the timer, how long it will take for the transition to complete. Uh, three seconds, I find is usually reasonably good time. You can do it less or you can do it more. So let's just click that and see what happens. Okay, so that's it coming in, in it's three seconds, and that's it going out. Let's choose something else, I don't know, maybe crumble. Um, what I want to talk to you about is this button over here on the right hand side, because your workload can be, as you know, extremely stressful, switching videos, cameras, lower thirds and everything else, so to help you in such a situation we can put an auto um, to take off the tour so once you apply it you don't need to worry about it coming off anymore it will come off I set it for five seconds there so it will come off in five seconds automatically um, if you've got a numeric keypad on your keyboard number nine on the numeric key keypad uh, will also switch the transition on and off so I'm gonna just press nine on the keyboard there and you can see it coming in and it will go off itself in five seconds and let it go off as some other transition cloud for example i didn't get it in time okay so we do that again actually nine for it to come on and um, we let it go off on the same transition after five seconds and here's our counter status on the right hand side okay and that's how we use lower thirds uh creating lower thirds and thin cast is actually quite simple um, using them I would consider it to be quite simple also really all you need to do is have your favorite transition um, for the lower third not even think about it either hit this button or click 9 on the numeric keyboard and continue to work switch what you're doing and it'll come off itself automatically um, you don't need to worry about it Okay, so that's pretty much the lower third tutorial video for FinCast. And again, our website is fincast.com. Thank you for watching. Bye now.